All right, guys, so we got to talk about CNN, Donald Trump, and impeachment again, because even CNN is coming out and saying that essentially what I was saying is that the more you talk about impeachment, the more, unli the, the more unliked it really becomes. So let's go ahead and dive into this article right here by CNN, CNN Politics. Public opinion on Trump has been remarkably stable through his presidency. His approval rating has been mostly stuck in the high 30s to low 40s, which isn't true. We can see on Real Clear Politics his. Damn it. Sorry, guys. It looks like I have to turn off ad block to access this stupid thing. And so, this is what I hate about these sites, these news aggregators and stuff like that, that they want you to. Anyway, so as we can see from RCP, Trump's approval is hovering and just about close to 45% approval. Even though CNN says that he his approval is stuck, is stuck in the high 30s to low 40s. It's wrong, but let's move on. And is consistently trailed his most likely Democrat opponent, Biden, in the polls by high single to low double digits. But as we close out 2019 and head into 2020, it seems that Trump is gaining ground. Beyond our poll, the average live interview polls significant movement toward Trump over the last two months. Biden's lead over the president in a potential matchup has dropped from 12 points to 7 points. And if we go even deeper, meanwhile, the impeachment of Trump doesn't seem to be making much of an impact on the polls. It's not. It could be because opposition to impeaching and removing Trump is higher than Trump's popularity ratings. This means more talk of impeachment may actually move Trump's approval rating up. Now this is something that I said yesterday and the day before that and the weeks before that, that impeachment is likely to benefit Trump in, in, in his approval rating because to the average independent voter, it seems like impeachment is a partisan hack job that the Democrats are the only ones in the country, and of course the far left, are the only ones in the country who are pushing this idea to remove orange man bad. The rest of the majority of the country don't want him impeached. They actually approve of his job. They actually want him to stay in office and they don't want the guy impeached. When you have a CNN of all publications coming out and saying exactly what I've been saying and other content creators have been saying, CNN has problems. The Democratic Party has problems. And again, this whole impeachment thing is turning out to be more and more of a disadvantage for the Democrats because of one simple factor, and that factor is the economy. How are we doing as a country while President Trump is in office? And the answer to that, the honest answer to that, is that we're doing just fine. Actuality, we're actually doing a lot better. We're almost fucking thriving right now. Of course, you're never going to get this from CNN or MSNBC or any other liberal left publication because, of course, they don't want to talk about the economy. They don't want to talk about jobs. They don't want to talk about taxes. They rather stay on Trump's a racist, Trump's a big bad meanie, orange man bad, and all of that alike. And it's because the Democratic Party sucks when it comes to the economy. They have no platform when it comes to the economy. So Trump, as I said back before he was elected and after he was elected, that his most strongest attribute is the economy, is jobs, taxes, the economy, and the border wall. This is what people voted for Trump. This is why people voted for Trump in the first place. It wasn't because he was a social media master. It wasn't because he was a social issues master. It wasn't because he is a evangelical Christian. It wasn't because he was a neocon. It was simply the fact that he wanted to bring jobs back, build the border wall, fix the economy, and cut your taxes. That is a winning platform every single time. And of course, the Democratic Party and, and their platform is the exact opposite. J Joe Biden coming out saying that he's going to reverse Trump's tax plans, that, that he's going to open up the border. I mean, how crazy can you get? Trump's approval on the job and economy is sitting a pretty 53% approval rating. 
So that means that uh, President Trump's job approval on the economy is overwhelmingly approved by the vast majority of the American voting population. Do you think that 53% of people are all hardcore Trump fans? No. They might be light supporters and they might even be people who really don't like Trump that much, but agree that he's doing an okay job on the economy. Because that what Trump's ticket to gold was, was the economy. It was, it was about the money, stupid. And this is something that the Democrats can't wrap around their head because they're all stuck on orange man bad. Remove the bastard. Get rid of him. He's destroying the country. Obviously, 53% of the country disagrees with you. So it's a shock to me that I would have to agree with CNN when, when they say it could be because opposition to impeaching and removing Trump is higher than Trump's uh, popularity rating. This means more talk of impeachment may actually move Trump's approval rating up. And they are dead right right there. CNN admittedly is right. Yes, the more talk of impeachment, the more approval or Trump's approval is going to tick up because the vast majority of Americans, even people who did not like him, who probably didn't even vote for him, can come together and agree that Trump is doing a good job on the economy, which means they don't want him removed from office. They might not like him, they might really despise him, but they agree that he's doing a good job on the economy, and that means um, th th that means that it affects them personally. So of course they're not gonna want him removed. Of course they're not gonna want him impeached. And the more impeachment is talked about, the less popular it becomes. Which means that Trump can easily take on the issue of impeachment, saying that he's running, running against Congress, and he'll get a standing applaud. Because again, Congress is more disliked than the president. Always and always will be. And of course, this looks bad on the Democrat side because they are looking like they are doing nothing but standing in Trump's way of him furthering passing laws and regulations and getting actual shit accomplished because they can't get over 2016 and that orange man beat them. This is why many Democrats and liberals believe they can still impeach Trump over the Russian probe nonsense. Yes, the Russian probe thing that cost a U.S. taxpayer, me and you, $33 million over a span of two to three years, and it came out to be nothing. It was a nothing burger. Robert Mueller came out and said, yeah, we did not find any evidence that Trump colluded with the Russians in 2016. That was the main damn thing, that Trump used the Russian assets or whatever to, to steal the election away from y y Yas Queensley, Hillary Clinton herself. I mean, it devolved into more lies and more corruption and bull crap. You had Democrats out there who wanted to investigate Baron Trump, Trump's 11, 12 year old son. The Democrats have fallen so far from grace and they are continuing to fall, 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 fall. And there's no telling when they're gonna hit the ground with a big thump because they simply just cannot compete with Trump. They cannot counter any of his political strategy. Instead, they devolve into bitching and moaning about how he's evil and racist and sexist and blah, blah, blah. Things that the majority of Americans don't give a hoot about. That 53% of Americans who say, yeah, Trump is doing a good job on the economy, they don't give a damn about his mo racism, his sexism. They don't care about that. They care about, is it affecting them personally? And the economy affects us personally. Taxes affects us personally personally. To a larger extent, illegal immigration affects us personally. The three things that the Democrats are extraordinarily weak on. This is why when the Democrats announced that they were going to go forward with impeachment proceedings, I giggled because I knew it was going to go it wasn't going to go anywhere. Number 1, Trump didn't actually do anything that warranted an impeachment proceedings in the first place. Their charges were bogus from the beginning. And number 2, it's the economy, stupid. 53% of Americans agree that President Trump is doing a good job on the economy. That means that 53% of those people are probably people who don't like Trump, who didn't vote for him, but still don't want him removed from office because they agree he's doing a good for the economy. Now, yes, Trump is good for the economy, and Trump is very smart. He's very good at political strategy. But another key reason why he's so good at what he's doing is because, partly, is because of the Democrats and their incompetence. 
the Democrats are, they, they do not know what they're doing and they are making the same mistakes they did in 2016. And again, the mainstream media, CNN, MSNBC, and all these other ones are proving them right by not challenging their ideologies and their platforms. But as we saw from the article, even CNN is waking up and smelling the bacon and they are willing to say, yeah, you know, Trump is gaining ground and this impeachment thing is seems to be actually a good thing for him. And why do you think Nancy Pelosi and the other Democrats don't want to give the Senate the impeachment articles just yet because they want to find more proof? It's because Nancy Pelosi understands this. She doesn't want to give the Senate the impeachment proceedings because she knows it's going to be DOA once it gets there. They want it, they, She wants to sit on it and have impeachment go away, not talked about anymore, because the more it's talked about, the more disliked it is, and the more Trump gets approved, for, uh, his, his approval rating goes up because of it. Trump is almost at 45 fucking percent despite the mainstream media, all of the movies, all of the actresses, everybody literally against him. He's sitting pretty at almost 45 percent. His economy approval is 53 percent. The Democrats are refusing to accept this and they are going to lose because of it. But either way, you guys go ahead and let me know what you thought about this in the comment section below. The CNN article will also be in the description box if you guys want, if you guys want to go check it out. And that's about it for this video. Peace out, guys.